We're gonna do it, Adrian. What's going on, comrades? Drewski for Yellow Buckets here. Just giving you a quick update as to where I've been recently. Uh, just working a lot, to be honest with you. Thankfully, during this coronavirus, all these rough times we're going through. Hopefully you guys are keeping your heads up. Anywho, as far as content goes, I've been on Twitch recently. You can check out twitch.tv slash yellow buckets. And go ahead and give a follow there to get notifications for when I go live. But it's been pretty lit, honestly. We're getting a good community going over there. A lot of cool people helping me out, set up my streams and whatnot. It's awesome. So here's a little background information before I get into the ins and outs of what the challenge consists of. Basically, on Twitch a few weeks ago, I decided to stream Mario 3. Just a casual run, just for an old time's sake. But using a regular controller wasn't enough. So what I did was I took my Guitar Hero Explorer controller, which connects to the computer via USB, and I mapped the green and the red fret buttons to be the B and the A button so I could run and jump with those. I did the strum bars left and right, uh, the whammy bar is up, and yellow is duck. Start and select are still start and select, respectively. And basically that's how I got the NES controller mapped to the guitar controller to be able to play the game. At any rate, we ended up beating Mario 3 with the Guitar Hero controller. It was fucking hype, we did it. Um, but that wasn't enough. So that's where the Mario Hero challenge comes in. Over the next few weeks I was thinking, all right, we gotta make this a challenge. I'm gonna up the ante and I'm gonna try to beat as many Mario 2D platforming games as I can in chronological order with the Guitar Hero controller, as long as I can emulate them and find out some way to map the controller to work. So that's basically how the Mario Hero Challenge works. The ways you guys can participate, it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is get your favorite Mario platformer loaded up on an emulator, map some buttons on a Guitar Hero controller, and try to beat it as quick as possible. Go ahead and let me know in the comments the times you guys get on any Mario game, or for any game with that matter. If you can beat something else with the Guitar Hero controller, feel free to let me know. I'm curious to see what, what you guys are capable of. But as far as the challenge goes, I'd like to nominate UKOG Monkey, Randy, Asai, all the great YouTube Guitar Hero players and Twitch streamers. Um, K on Twitch, I know you're already trying this if you see this. Um, and speedrunners. I nominate any speedrunner watching this to give this an attempt. So go ahead and use the hashtag Mario Hero Challenge when sharing this with your friends and family and co-workers and streamers and Guitar Hero fans and everyone. Let everyone know about this shit. Let's make it go viral in the gaming community. I think it'll be fun. I gotta mention, I did do a brief scouring of YouTube and the internet, and I couldn't really find a time of somebody beating Mario 1 with a Guitar Hero controller. So feel free to let me know if there is a, a time better than mine, or just a time in general, because I'd like to give recognition to somebody who's beaten this before. Uh, because I'm by no means probably the first person to do this. But that's pretty much it, comrades. Uh, I don't have much else to say. I'm going to roll this clip here and uh, enjoy me beating Mario 1 with a Guitar Hero controller. See you guys on Twitch for the rest of the Mario games. And please follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash yellow buckets. Put it right here. Eh, that's good enough right there. Cause I still want to be able to read the chat. Yeah, that's the state of the stream. That's the that's my inner soul right there. All right, if we can get to eight three with the fucking fire flower, dude. Eight two. I mean. Knew you guys would love it. Come on. Got this. Every enemy. Fuck them to die with the fireballs.
I've been trying to spam on Mike Matei's streams too, like, well, not spam, but... I'll be like, yo, what up, chat? And then if someone's like, hey, what's up, yellow buckets? I'll be like, man, I'm streaming. The I've been trying to beat Mario 1 with the Guitar Hero controller. I'm trying to hope Mike just sees that shit one day and... Oof. I highly doubt he'd ever try it, but... Gotta get that clout somehow. Gotta secure that bag somehow. As the modern kids say it. Yeah, I know he'd love that shit. Like, I bet you if you tweet him, that's probably something if you, like, tweeted to him, he'd probably be like, oh, okay. But I don't do Twitter. I gotta set up Yellow Bucket's Twitter. I know, man. It's like, I watch James and Mike Mondays just to, like, keep up with it, but... and I mean, ABGN, but... I miss the heyday, that's for sure. Alright. Anywho. Fuck that motherfucker. I'm not trying to think about him right now. Motherfucker Mike, that is. Well, and ABGN for that matter. Ooh, ooh. Hell yeah. I mean, they're still, you know, for what it's worth, it's still decent, but it's, the channel is just like, not the same. <clears throat> I don't mind the new guys they got there, like editing and guest starring and shit, but it's definitely not the same as the entourage with like Kyle Justin and Bootsy and all those cats. <clears throat> but I still respect the grind regardless. always have about 60 coins too. Probably should push for more. But <laughs> Alright. Every enemy. This shit though. I'm kind of so used to running across it. And I can't go slow because it's level. <laughs> Peter Griffin. But hell yeah though, Eric. Bootsy. Touche. <laughs> I was gonna say with my dick in it, but I can agree with that one too. Oof. By ice, do you mean like she's on ice, or like ice, like she's high on ice? The street name for methamphetamine. I might just have to upload this whole fucking stream to YouTube. I mean, why not, dude? This is pretty good. Hell yeah, man. You guys are fucking crazy over there. I mean, in that regard. Ice in your women and whatnot. Not! Focus. Speaking of UK, I want to play some Forza Horizon 4. I'm about to hop on that soon. One day. Maybe on stream. I don't know. Talking, I'm getting fucked up. That's that's one of the spots. But that's definitely one of my favorite. Favorites of the... 
generation Forza Horizon 4. I love that game. Which is odd because I'm not a race car slash car sim slash driving game person by any means. <clears throat> but I love the shit out of the Forza games. Another game that I want to get to, I think, ah oh shit, it's probably not on sale anymore. I want to get Tekken 7. I mean, speaking of genres that I don't typically play, because like, I don't typically play fighting games, but I love Tekken and I love Soul Calibur. <clears throat> probably a good Rage Fest. Soul Cal 2, exactly. It was Link, Spawn, and. The fuck was in the PS2 version? Yoda? Not Yoda. Um, I played the PS2 version, and I can't, I can't remember. I can remember the other two platforms. <clears throat> but, anywho, yeah. Bonus characters and that shit were pretty cracking. Yeah, it was four that had Vader and Yoda. Yep. Because me and my buddy James literally just had this conversation the other day. It's the emulator. Oh no! Yes! No! Just keep running, just keep running. Okay. This is causing me literal stress, dude. Oh my god. Man. Fucker and fucker. Getting that down. You can get them on their jumping down phase. Yep, at least. So, like, that's one in three, then. If you, if you reduce your fractions. <laughs> but, yeah, technically, out of the amount of attempts that we've kind of remembered versus the amount of times that I've actually passed through it legitimately with that trick, yes. It's like two of six. All right, here we go. It's because I do forget about it sometimes. Ball's fucking deep. Pardon that extreme profanity, but fuck it. <clears throat> Eric knows the rest of that statement. I'm not going to say it, though. And don't you dare type it, Eric, but... <clears throat> Alright, water area. Gotta peep the hole in the wall. I'm safe scumming, too. Fuck this. We're, we're fucking beating this shit. Fuck the rest. I'm gonna save scum at the beginning of the level, I think first. But yeah, I'm gonna check. I might, I might not save scum, but that would kind of pull the rug out this under this whole run. Words English, but you know what I mean. <sighs> cheap cheeps. Just gotta run ahead of them. Oh. Nah. Nope. Why? Okay, then. Why in the literal fuck aren't there bricks there? Dude, they did that to waste your time. To make you think there was an easier way to give you a false sense of hope, security, encouragement, motivation, all that happy-ass shit that I don't really have right now in full effect. Nonetheless, we persevere. 
I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Dude, we're gonna just gonna run. We're gonna run. We got this. Fuck the rest. Watch this. saving because I'm I'm gonna learn at least learn how to kill that hammer bitch at the end <clears throat> coming back with a vengeance motherfucker You've thrown your last hammer, dude. This is bull. Oh my god, Bowser on Super Mario World. That's gonna be interesting. Holding that to like... That's gonna be fun. Gotta go under. It's, dude, it's equally as risky, bro. But I can see, I mean, ah! okay. I mean, I think you're right, but I mean, if you can time it just right to where the piranha plant on the second pipe goes down and you just basically, you run, jump onto the plant, onto the pipe, and then the last pixel of the pipe you jump. And in the perfect world, he's just gonna be like standing right there, I'm gonna jump over him. And there's a, a lava pit that you gotta fucking jump up. You can't be slowed down. You have to have full momentum. I gotta remember that. Full momentum, full send, no half sends. Steve will do it shit. We gotta go the extra mile. And then it's Bowser who literally spent, if, if right away, he's kinda easy cause he just shoots like I think a fire and like, like jumps a little bit, but he starts spamming hammers and fire. It, it's gonna be fun. I mean, I've committed this level to memory. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Do, 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 do. Alright, Brodies. What do you think we should... Under... See, bro, there's a wind right, like right there. All right, watch, watch. At next time he jumps, well, next window, right here. Damn. Shit. Fuck. Time. Oh. Going under him. Yes. yes. Oh my God. I need a fucking drink. I got like endorphin rush from that hype comrades dude in the fucking books <clears throat> push button B to select a world that's hype man I fucking love you comrades so there you have it comrades 14 minutes 48 seconds and I believe like 11 frames 
Uh, I started the counter immediately, a frame that I hit the start button and ended it, the frame that the uh, axe disappears on Bowser's Bridge. So that's how I timed it. So the challenge is now on your shoulders. Go ahead and give it a try. And once again, let me know in the comments what time you get. Feel free to try other games and let me know the times you get in those. But until next time, comrades, I'll see you with another Mario Hero Challenge video soon, hopefully. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.